Welcome to Photo Escapes, a behind the scenes photography series featuring professional travel photographers Matthew Williams Ellis and John Alexander. We have two weeks in Kenya to film and photograph the incredible landscapes and diverse wildlife here. In this episode, we are in Aberdare National Park and spend our first sunrise photographing in a giant heather forest. But there was no way we could drive past this. And we have our first encounter with Africa's wildlife. We've got this massive male elephant coming towards us. This is Aberdare National Park, a protected area of the Aberdare Mountains, ranging from 2,000 to 4,000 meters above sea level. Dense montane forest engulfs the lower slopes, but as the altitude increases, the landscape gives way to a vast belt of impenetrable bamboo forests. As we continue to rise, the landscape begins to open up into misty open moorland. The Aberdares is home to all the usual wildlife that lives on the savannah on lower altitudes, but here they are incredibly difficult to spot due to the thick vegetation. This then, as photographers, is going to be our biggest challenge. We're in the Aberdares National Park and this is my first shot of actually taking a landscape here. And we are in a massive forest of giant heather, which is pretty much only found at this elevation in Kenya. My composition here of this giant heather is very backlit. So actually the majority of the shot is shadows and shapes of the heather. And I've got the sun coming in and it's actually getting quite strong now, even though it's seven o'clock in the morning. So as I move slightly left to right, you can see that I'm just going into shadow and coming back into the sun. And what I'm trying to do is just get that partially obscured sun, just so it gets the right amount of flare. Go into the shadow completely and it's just, obviously it's just a silhouette go too far, there's too much sun. So it's just about getting that right amount. And by using a high aperture of like f22, you get that really defined sun star. That is nice. Really happy with that. What's nice about this morning is that obviously we're coming out for animals and big game and here we've just come out of the car, what was it, 20 metres from the car and we've got this amazing landscape. That's why the Aberdares are so good because you've got both landscape and animals. Just have to look out for buffalo every five seconds. But this is good. Yeah. 
we found this amazing giant heather forest and backlit with the first light of the day, it just looks so surreal. It's like something from a film. You've got all these bits of old man's beard with water droplets just dripping off them. It is absolutely insane. Photographer's dream this is, it's absolutely epic. So I'm just trying one shot, looking kind of up at the trees and you've got these amazing shapes of the branches going from the sky down to the ground. And it also cuts out what is quite a cluttered kind of foreground. I'm also trying one that's slightly more zoomed in. A little bit of flare in the top left corner and then it really compresses all these shapes so you get this amazing kind of depth to the image. This feels really tranquil and peaceful and kind of lulls us into a false sense of security, I think. And the reality is it's quite enclosed and there could be buffalo, leopards, hyena, literally anywhere. So we're having to stay quite close to the car. I'm not keen to get eaten this morning. Still buzzing from our morning shoot, it seems this day just gets better and better. Complete control, complete domination. No. It's coming home. Okay, maybe not. England battered, bruised, and soundly beaten. Soundly beaten in Yokohama. Watching the Rugby World Cup with a South African commentary, we really, really needed a pick me up. But because we're in the Abadares, we got just that. accommodation now when we've got this massive male elephant coming towards us. It's quite far away at the moment, but hopefully it's going to come towards us. If it does, we'll get some really good shots, I reckon. There's also a bit of rain as well, which just adds to the atmosphere. So hopefully we can get some shots before it gets too dark. I will wait here until it's pitch black, if needs be, to get a good shot of this elephant. This is the first time my new piece of kit has come in handy, because it's quite a long way away. It means I'm absolutely, completely stable. Don't have to hold this ridiculous lens by hand, which is quite good. Okay, he's actually, he's starting to come this way now. It looks like he might be heading across there a bit more. We might reposition. We might have to reposition. <laughs> Thanks. It looks like he's heading back kind of to where we were before, so we might have to retrace our steps. We'll move quite slowly though, because we don't want to scare him off or annoy it. Don't want to get on the wrong side of an elephant this size. It's coming this way now. We're, we're probably 10 metres away from this elephant. We thought it was going to go that way, but actually, I think it's going to come back this way now. Oh. He's literally right there. I've changed to my 70 to 200. Can you hear him? This is so amazing. I've never seen an elephant up this close before. In the next episode, 
I bravely clamber across the rocks at Chiana Waterfall. It's almost impossible to photograph. Matt pretends to photograph a reed buck and thinks it's quite cool. It's quite cool. Before cooking some little sausages with his head torch on. And finally, we head out of the Aberdares National Park, ready for our next Kenya adventure. <laughs>